Hey, Don here. I was just going to type this out, but I thought maybe I'd just, uh, I'd say it. Um, this generation, uh, you know, particularly the young people, when they get saved, they get into the book and they start getting rambunctious about wanting to do something. For some reason, they default to, I'm going to get a YouTube channel going and I'm just gonna upload videos onto YouTube, you know, whether they own them or not. And I, I wanna tell any of you that are like that, uh, you need to get blooded first. Uh, God doesn't call any of you to just get saved, uh, start learning a little bit of the Bible, and then get yourself a YouTube channel. It's not how it works. You need to get out and do some of the tough work first uh, I had to spend a lot of time uh, uh, buying thousands and thousands and thousands of dollars of gospel tracks and putting them out by hand. I've tracked untold thousands of cars in parking structures downtown and around uh, Tigard. Uh, when I very, very first started out, um, I actually went around. I was I was scared to go out and do anything. I really stage fright bad. So I went out after dark and I put gospel tracks in people's paper boxes. And back then, most people took the paper. They took the Oregonian around here. So I would go out and I would do that. And then uh, God gave me some witnessing opportunities where I would go and I would go to someone's house with a Bible and. Uh, uh, we'd have a lesson. Uh, I went and I did months of Bible teaching over at someone's house, like at seven o'clock at night, a little group, um, ex Jehovah's Witnesses and their friends, teaching them the Bible. Uh, I did a pr prison ministry for five years. I did a street ministry for well over 20 years. Um, putting up countless scripture signs around my community on telephone poles. Um, I mean, on and on and on. I, I got out and I did the work, door knocking. Um, I, I can't even remember all of it, but I had to go out and do the dirty work first. I had to get spit on. I had to get threatened. I had to, you know, spend my, you know, I had to put miles on my truck, spend the gas. Um, Go through all of the trouble that it takes to do a real ministry in the real world. After I'd done all that, I didn't want to get on YouTube and have a quote unquote ministry, but the Lord was starting to set me up with rare videos, rare audio recordings. Um, I was just was finding them on, on eBay or I was, pff, was getting them from everywhere. People were sending them to me. Uh, and the Lord impressed upon me that, you know, hey, shouldn't you be getting this out to people? These aren't copyrighted. This is just rare stuff that no one has heard or seen before. And this is probably the only copy of this stuff. And you've got it sitting in your back room, the only copy. Okay, so reluctantly, I had to take a lot of time. I had to buy equipment. I had to take a lot of time, a lot of effort after work, like those uh, those LPs, those Re Revelation LPs from Dr. Ruckman. I had to take those. I had to get a, get myself a record player and find out how to uh, dub those down to digital form. And if you're familiar with records at all, they skip, especially those ones. So they were skipping, and I had to edit and edit and go back and redo it and redo it, and it was a lot of work and then uploading them to YouTube. And I was never uh, trying to do it for money. I never clicked the money button on YouTube. But I knew I had probably the only copies of these things. So I put them out, you know, to edify the brethren. And then because I already had five years of teaching under my belt and over 20 years of preaching under my belt, uh, the Lord was impressing upon me to uh, make videos of certain subjects before I even had an audience. Um, I had a, I don't know, a dozen subscribers, whatever it was, it wasn't much. And I just started putting videos up, 
because I had a burden for some uh, subject. And then the thing started growing. It wasn't my idea at all. And there were several times where I'm like, well, this is about it. Well, I guess I did what I, the Lord wanted me to do. And I just was gonna kind of walk away from it. And then the Lord would have uh, <clears throat> somebody send me a bunch more stuff that was rare and wasn't copyrighted. Okay, I'll keep doing it. And then he'd give me some more messages to preach or teach. And you know, it wasn't me. Uh, it was the Lord's moving me to do it. Just like he had told me, you're gonna go out on the street or you're gonna put up signs, or you're gonna pass out tracks or whatever. It, look, you need to get bloodied first. Uh, you're not just gonna walk in the parade ground with the uniform on and uh, you know, like, some of you remember the movie Gladiator, where the schmuck who wanted to be king, he comes riding in to Rome in the chariot with all the ticker tape coming down and acting like he's coming in as a, <clears throat> a conquering warrior when he hadn't done anything. That's some of you on setting up a YouTube channel when you haven't done anything, you know? Go do something first. And then uh, once... Uh, you know, once you've been through the battlefield, once you've got your feet dirty, your face a little, your face a little, you know, smutty with uh, gunpowder, and a few cuts from a sword, then, then see if the Lord wants you to do a YouTube channel. Okay, thanks.